Hi everyone. As you can see, we just did a cute digital cutout. This is the Very Scary Ghost Digital Bundle. It comes with the transfer and the digital files. I used chalk suede paper and you can see I still have a lot of that left. So you totally can use chalk suede paper and keep using it for other projects. We did cut out all of these cute little, the ghost, the very scary ghost. And we're gonna do that today on these cute chalk suede pieces. I love these little shoes. I think they're super cute. These are the ones that are right here. I think they're super adorable. So we're gonna do everything in black velvet and we're gonna put this cute little ghost on a box frame. We're just gonna make him kind of just super cute on a box frame. So I'm gonna move you guys down. So there is a video that tells you how to do all of this. Of course, you have all of your care instructions on the back. So you wanna keep your packaging in your backer sheet because this is reusable eight to 12 times sometimes more, and it would help if I could actually open it. Today has just been one of those days. So I'm gonna really quickly get this little guy out of the packaging. Okay, we're gonna use our cutting trimmers, our chalk transfer trimmers, and we're going to use these cute little shoes right here. I don't want that to, I just want to cut that. There we go. So, all right. Now to get this lined up, you will want to like check and see how it cuts. That would be the way that we're gonna do it. So these little shoes, let's see. More like that. Okay. So we're going to do all of this, of course, and we're going to write on the back. I was right on the back. You want to do something so that you know that that is the back because if you don't, um, you will, you could put your transfer on the wrong side because the backer sheet is glossy on both sides and you could ruin your transfer. And obviously, we don't want any of that to happen. So we're going to really quickly fuzz this and we're going to do this in black velvet and then we're going to go and do the cute little shoes. So there's a couple ways that you can do this. You could do it with a light pad underneath or you could do it with um, something like that and then go, um, so I'm gonna actually use the transfer to hold this in place. Or you can go um, like with something underneath or you can do it like this or you can flip it around and do it. Like I said, we're gonna do black velvet. And let's grab out squeegee. Now you could totally paint this chalk suede paper too if you wanted to do the ghost in white, you could paint the background in black. So just the eyes are black. And then go over it with the white. Or you can go over it with clear, or like the glow in the dark, I mean. Which would be super cute as well. I like him in black velvet though. I think he's cute. You could do a bunch of these in different colors as well and kind of make them really adorable, make them like a garland. I'm gonna dry this. <laughs> the one blowing all over the place. And as you can see, he's kind of doing that. So we're gonna kind of hold him down. I'm gonna spin it like this and I'm gonna hold him right here.
All right. Super cute, right? It's a cute little ghost. All right, we're gonna set that off to the side. And we are gonna do the shoes. Now these would be actually really cute in red, so I was just thinking about that. So we're gonna do these in the um, cherry, I think. That would be super cute. Using the transfer to hold it down. Again, guys, I'm using that because I have this mat. I would never do that on the table. I would not recommend that. Using our multi-tool, because that's what I'm using. Just gonna pull all that. Oh, okay. I'm using a tray to hold all my tools. We're just going to kind of pull this off, holding just ever so slightly on the edge of that because I don't want to mess that up. Keep little shoes. Okay, and then I'm going to do that again, but I'm actually going to use my detail tool to hold this down. One, it protects my fingers from the heat, but two, it just works really, really well. Cute little ghost. Now we have our box frame right here. I'm gonna cut this open. This is a five by seven box frame. You could do it on a five by five. Actually, you know what, guys? Let's do that on a five by five because I think the five by five is just gonna fit just ever so slightly better. Hold on, guys. Let me grab. I have a couple things over here that I think would make a great way for it to be held on to. Okay. All right. We are going to do this side of the box frame. I'll put this cute little ghost on here with his little shoes. So I'm actually going to use command strips. That's what I'm going to use. Now I'm going to use one for him. And I'm going to cut a little tiny piece off of this one for the little shoes. I'm just going to cut like a strip and another strip. That's going to give me my 3D element. I will put this piece as it goes on the wall on the actual box frame, pushing that down. I'm going to grab that. Skin this cute little ghost right on there. Now these two little pieces, what we're going to do is we're going to put them actually on the back of the shoes. So I know that they're going to go in the proper spots. Now you could use foam tape. Absolutely could do that if it makes it easier. I'm just gonna use what I have on hand. I'm gonna cut this away from that edge because I don't want that there. There we go. And I'm gonna pull this piece off piece that goes on the wall. And we're going to put his cute little shoes. Pushing that down. Look how cute he is. Just a cute little ghost on a box frame. How adorable. So that is how you use our digital files. You can do this with vinyl. You can do this with wood. You can do this with um, multiple different things like paper and everything like that. So you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you all later. Our cute little, very scary ghost. Thank you guys so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.